Hey everybody, Dustin Bynum here today, and uh, I'm out in the field uh, getting ready to do some uh, video work on a uh, parcel of land that uh, I just listed, and uh, came out to kind of get an idea where the parcel lines are, uh, put some markers out uh, just so that uh, any interested parties coming by to check out this land can kind of get an idea of uh, where those uh, parcel lines are. Uh, otherwise it's rural rural land nothing's marked there's no fence lines kind of just got to get a, a, a rough idea from where the uh, uh, the APN uh, lines line up with some GPS coordinates so uh, not a substitution for a survey but uh, at least when you're taking a look at it kind of get an, a rough idea of where the property resides what the shape is what the distance between the the uh, general uh, markers are and so on and so forth so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around the camera uh, looks like we have utilities close uh, to this particular parcel. Let me uh, show you what I'm seeing here. So check out the mountain views. That's pretty fantastic. But got some power utility lines coming across here. I don't know how well they're showing up on camera, but uh, there's two power poles right there. There's some uh, tires stacked right here at the corner of the lot. So if you're out here looking for uh, where the lines are, that is the actual uh, corner. Of the parcel and there's the other uh, uh, utility pole right there so at least we have electrical very very close proximity to the property so if you were uh, looking to get electrical run to this property it'd be very easy to probably sink a pole you can see just off in the background we got utility lines running all through this area so that's fantastic uh, certainly uh, on the opposite side of this parcel, we have fiber optic uh, running through the ground on the opposing side of the street. So I'll uh, get some camera footage of that. Uh, this is 10 acres, so it's a big chunk of property. Uh, you can see it's just all low chaparral, generally flat in uh, overall orientation, mountain views around, uh, and kind of the, the most fascinating part. This is located in Atalanto, um, but uh, right here in the background, and I'll, we'll get a drone up to show you uh, footage of this, uh, is the uh, Buddhist Meditation Center off in that tree line right there. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, footage of that so you can see the proximity uh, of this particular parcel to the Buddhist Meditation Center off of 395. And uh, kind of get an idea where this location is. Uh, we came in off of the Calusa Road uh, exit. It's it's just marked with a sign. It's uh, only paved for a few feet. And then we drove down the uh, uh, unmaintained roads to get here. It's generally uh, flat, easy drive. Um, easily can be done in a commuter car. It's not real rough terrain. It's not rocky. Um, and it's well driven. There are a few settlements out here. Nice big house off there in the in the background right there. Um, looks like there's some other uh, properties maybe used for uh, storage or some things like that. But uh, otherwise, just big fantastic chunk of land with nice mountain views off of the 395 uh, near the Buddhist Meditation Center. Um, utilities nearby. Uh, one thing I don't see is uh, any indicators that there's uh, water or fire hydrant off of any of these roads. Um, that might be something we need to look further into, but uh, certainly electrical is nearby uh, and you have the option of uh, checking out these uh, gas lines that are marked. We'll show you that and then uh, if that's uh, not an option, you can always do rural gas. It's pretty common out here. Um, you know, just do a, a propane tank on the property if you're going to build lots of solutions for what you can do with this particular parcel. Um, so stand by. We're going to we're going to clip to the next scene and get a drone up uh, for this side of the property. Uh, I've got a limitation on how far my drone can fly. I don't know that I can take it all the way across a, a whole 10 acres and you know actually probably be able to see it. Uh, that might be a challenge, but uh, I'll take it as far as I can. We'll land the drone and then we'll drive around to the opposite of the parcel and we'll film from there. Uh, so stay tuned for the next cutscene.